What's up, what's up? This your boy Devin G. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, do your boy your favor and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell too. That way you know exactly when I upload new videos and new content. And if you're not new, you already know. I truly appreciate you, man. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting your boy. So, um, I just gotta say, I'm pretty sure you guys are probably tired of me thanking you, but I don't give a damn. I am a very appreciative kind of guy, man. And you guys have been showing me all love, dog. Like, no lie, man. Whenever I look at my comments and I see that, I see the inspiring comments and the love you guys been showing me, man. It is just, it's crazy, man. It's crazy, dog. Like, I be reading, I'm just like, they, 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 they really fucking with me, man. And the best part about that, dog, is just, I'm just being me. I'm keeping it 100. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being authentic. And it means the world, man. It means the world. So, just so you guys know, again, I truly, truly appreciate it. And I also appreciate the fuck toys who be saying dumb shit and commenting. Whatever, because you still watching. So, anyway, enough of that shit. So, today, man, I am going to do another highly requested video. Highly requested. We were soldiers. So, again, for you, those of you who are new to my channel, I'm a veteran and I absolutely love, man, military movies. And if you don't believe me, check out some of my other military films and you will see that I am a very passionate dog, very passionate reactor. So, if you're not looking for a guy who's going to scream and curse and sometimes cry, you know what I'm saying, when shit get intense, you at the wrong channel because it goes down here. It goes down, dog. So, I am absolutely looking forward to this we were soldiers and i assume that it's gonna be some some action in it i'm hoping i don't get emotional but if it comes down to it fuck it it is what it is it is what it is so i hope you guys enjoy my reaction give your boy that thumbs up you know what i'm saying like share and comment help my channel grow help my videos get recommended so check this out i'm gonna put the link to my patreon at the bottom at the bottom. You check that out, man. TV shows, movie reactions, and regular reactions. With that, you get access to this full, uncut, and edited of We Were Soldiers and all my other full films, dog. You get to see the whole thing, man. Vote on polls, so on and so forth. You already know the spiel. So, I'm done talking because I feel like I talk too fucking much sometimes, but whatever, whatever. Now I'm saying, let's check out some We Were Soldiers, and I hope you guys enjoy my reaction. Let's get to it. These are the true events of November 1965. Oh, shit! Damn! Damn! This shit came out of nowhere. Oh! God damn! Oh! Them boys! Them boys had big boy cup, but I ain't seen shit. Hit that boy in the throat, blowing that damn horn. Oh, bruh. Oh, y'all, bro, y'all done. Bruh. Boy, y'all ain't know where the fuck the shot coming from. They can blast the boy face off. Bruh. You gotta surrender, dog. Them boys had good boy cover, too. <laughs> they ain't see that shit coming. No kill. That boy said, kill this up coming. Right in the face, bro? He gonna, he gonna put it close, too. That's fucked up, bro. I, you know what? The guy probably died about to be a fucking P.O. Dub. They finna torture your ass, dog. I'm pretty sure they ain't gonna feed you. You ain't gonna be watching. They, they finna torture the fuck out. You boy just kill me, dog. For real. Fuck that. We anticipate the build after once of victory over cavemen in black pajamas. From in Vietnam is brave. Jungles, mountains, rivers, maneuvers, a nightmare. That's why we came up with a plan to use helicopters. Leap in and out of battle. Like, bro, they be bad. You go into someone else's territory. You don't know the terrain for real. For me, you got a map. You know what I'm saying, but that's a bad deal, that boy. I guess that's that's, that's the point of invading and taking over. You go to somebody else, shit, dog, and you don't know the back doors. You don't know the. Hey, how about we go back to Bingo? What do you say? Is that up, uh, Mel Gibson? That boy, legend. That boy, a 
Colonel? That was that big boy rank. Tom, how much you know about our new Colonel? He was in Korea, has a master's in international relations from Harvard. Harvard? It's not one of those academic pussies, is it? How more? That's academic pussies. That boy did how many tours? He academic pussy? Alright. Hey, don't don't let the family in there. He be nice as shit food. He probably a motherfucking beast. He probably a beast. Look, motherfucker, you got planes and shit going over your head. He ain't even... Just, just a regular day. I'm just outside. <laughs> That's cool, though, dog. Boy, tall as fuck. Damn the boy big. Your man call you snake shit. That's an effects of appellation of my comrades in arms, sir. Cause I fly over in snake shit. Well, I got a problem, snake shit. <laughs> snake shit. I think you're the solution. Snake shit. What kind of name is that? <laughs> Yesterday was Sunday. You didn't have to be training, but you were. And you got pilots like that too tall character. They want to fly with you for some reason. I guess it's because they think you're the best. I'm supposed to have a choice in all this. <laughs> you sure don't. Say <laughs> not that really. I'm making sure you got a choice, but no, this is what you're going to do. Call that boy too tall. That boy show up like he six fucking six seven. How the fuck he even fly a plane? How, how you even get in that bitch being that damn tall? Uh -huh. <laughs> Show what's dope about that boy. I made you walk in. Everything stop. Everything stop. Hey, that shit dope. Eyes front. At ease, gentlemen. Welcome to the new cavalry. We will ride into battle, and this will be our horse. Timing is impeccable. They had that shit planned. Okay. That shit was smooth. That boy cold. That boy came in and boop. Lord Major Plumley and I come from the paratroopers, where the officer is always the first one out of the plane. And to inspire your men by your example. That's impressive. Lord Major Plumley made all four combat jumps in the 82nd Airborne during World War II. Sicily, Salerno, Normandy, and Holland. That's respect. That's, that's respect. That boy say, y'all go, I go, I go first, just to lead y'all. I respect that shit. Three strikes, and you're not out. That shit dope, bro. Because you don't see that often, man. Most LTs for real, for real they, don't, they don't do that shit. They pass, they pass our orders. I'm going to go her. In this motherfucker room, drink my coffee the way I... Them boys said, we finna go with y'all. I like that shit, there. That ain't the boost of morale right there. Them boys cold. They drop your ass and get out of there. Bitch. Look! Look where that motherfucker pull it off! His ass hop out! You run the job of the man above you, and you teach your job to the man below you in rank. We'll be landing under fire, gentlemen. Men will die. Getting their ass together. That boy say, that's what you call a motherfucker. A wrench in the mix? He did, he did. Now what? What you gonna do? You ain't got time to think! Like, uh, 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 dead. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy holy Mary, mother of God. Pray for us. Cecile, I, I don't hear you praying, honey. You know what's dope, bro? 
is how you just click that switch off. You can go from a fucking oh, from from war. You know what I'm saying? Being being in a mindset of training, bro. To I'm a family and I'm a father. Well, I pray and, and thank God for our family. Yes, sir. Well, that's good. Well, then let's do it. Hail Mary, Hail. full Hail. of grace. Hail. The Lord Hail. is with Hail. thee. Hail. Blessed Hail. art thou among women. I can hear you laughing, you know, even in here. I'm not laughing. I'm marveling. Marveling? No matter what. That you can find stubbornness in your children and think it comes from anybody but you. I'm surprised. I, just, I love it, man. Love how much he loves his family. But then he loves his man and his job too, man. <laughs> oh, freaking warm. I love it. I'm freaking warm, boy. I guess that's why they got six kids. <laughs> I think we're on five or six. But turn that ass up. Beautiful morning, Sergeant Major. Are you a fucking weatherman, man? man? <laughs> when Crazy Horse was a baby, he nursed from the breast of every woman in the tribe. The Sioux raised their children that way. Every warrior called every woman in the tribe mother. Every older warrior, they called him grandfather. Damn. That, that ain't a preparation for you, huh? Any of you some bitches calls me grandpa. I'll kill you. <laughs> he didn't smirk. He didn't smirk, laugh, or grin. <laughs> oh, boy, I said I'll kill you. Fuck with me if you want to. That boy hurt. <laughs> that boy hurt. Laundromat in town's okay, but they won't let you wash the colored things in their machines. In a public laundromat? Didn't make any sense to me either, but I'm telling you, they have a big sign right in the window that says whites only. <laughs> Honey, they mean white people only. <laughs> that's awful. That's all right, honey. But I know what my husband's fighting for, and that's why I can smile. And he'll give respect to no man who hasn't earned it. And anybody who doesn't respect that can keep his goddamn washing machine because my baby's clothes are going to be clean anyway. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he ain't kissing no ass. Oh, Colonel. At ease, at ease. I heard one of my new lieutenants just became a father. Kicks before I held her. Well, is Tagger already? What's that say? Oh, Camille. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a Tagger. Oh, if you leave that on where it is, that's an order. I like him, man. You watch over the young men like Jack Gagan, but I lead into battle. Especially if there are men like this one beside me, deserving of a future in your blessing and goodwill. He is so well balanced. Well balanced, man. He got faith. He loves his men sincerely. He's a great father. Know his job. Not only that, but he can cut that switch off and on, which is most important. But it's, a war. it's when some people in another country or any country. Try to take the lives of other people. And then soldiers like your daddy have to, you know, it's my job to go over there and stop them. I think I try to take care away from my daddy. Well, yes, this is you're going to try. But I'm not going to let him. Okay? That's deep, there, boy. He handled that situation well, though. That question right there holds some weight. We form a division using techniques that have never been attempted in battle against an enemy with 20 years of combat experience on his ground. And right before the army sends us into the fight, they take away a third of my men. <laughs> Saw this coming, didn't you? That's some bullshit. Yes. That's why I gave me that new crop of platoon leaders. That's fucked. You wanna... It's an unknown territory with unexperienced troops, man. Oh, that's fun. Then you're trying a new technique that has never been never been even tested, bruh. Shit. Mm. She knows something right. She knows her husband with a fake ass smile. You know, I feel like wives have the hardest job, man, especially when they have a family. Because you about to lose your counterpart to war, not knowing if they're going to come home or not. And you have a family, bruh. 
And half the time, you can't talk to them the way you want when they're overseas. That boy just had a baby. I know he disturbed. You can't tell me that would not make you want to go AWOL. It takes, well, it takes some heart. Like, that's why I say this shit ain't really, it is not meant for, for regular people, man. You better leave everything you know behind. People don't, who don't respect bets, they can eat a dick. And I mean that wholeheartedly. For real. People just, oh man, people don't understand, man. Time to hit that switch, Colonel. You gotta cut these fucking emotions off, boy. How many men do you have battle ready, give or take? 395, sir. What do you estimate the enemy strength? You have no idea. We have no idea. Kill him, but you don't know how many you're going against. You're running hide in the mountains. So naturally, we chase him, of course. In the mountains? That boy said in the mountains. You don't know where the fuck you're going. He the, he in the front. This will give me emotion. I can feel it. In the front on the first plane to take off. That boy, I'm gonna lead by example. It was a Sunday, November 14th, 1965. Before that day, the soldiers of North Vietnam and those of America never met each other in a major battle. Like, bruh, they don't know what the fuck they going against. This is crazy. This ain't good, boy. That's never good when you get off today. When you get off, when you go and expect to go into a fight, you get on this quiet. That means these motherfuckers got a plan. Go. Oh shit! Let's take a prisoner. Dude, don't you fucking, dude, bro. How you know it's a scout? Well, yeah, yeah, he was hiding, waiting for him. To... Come on. That ain't good. What if he's fucking bait? What if he's bait? He said he deserted. Oh shit, he's a lookout. He said this is base camp for whole division. Four thousand men. That was like four thousand. This is what three hundred and fifty something. Right now? Actually, six, sixty. Only just sixty on ground. It gets four thousand men, bro. Same army destroyed French. One kill American very badly. Should not been able to find any yet. That boy said they want to kill him bad. Just can't find none. Say itch. Oh shit! I fucking knew it, bruh! I knew it! He bring their ass to them! They're probably walking right into him. Come on! I'll get us out of here! Oh shit! Get your ass down, bruh! Dude, stay fucking down, bruh! You don't know where that shit coming from. But they ain't been there five minutes. Them boys, so they can't even send the right message. They nervous. They don't behave. 
Good call. I hope they don't shoot the damn planes, the helicopters, dog, to prevent them from bringing more men in. That would be a bad idea, that boy. I don't get the signals, goes. I thought I could die for my country. Damn. Set up your eyes went black. That boy said we boom 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 boom. Ugh. Woof. Them boys underground. Them boys come under fucking ground. Like ants. Them boys. Woo! Them boys roll out. The hell? They only touch the fucking ground. <laughs> that boy, see, he, he had to get in a fight. Ah! That close as hell. Looks like they made fucking Nick. I want you to get me all the air support you can get me on that now. For the last thing, I need the close air support. I need you to burn them out on Hilltop Alpha. Shit. Like they asked to fuck up. Set that motherfucker fire, boy. Set that motherfucker fire, baby. Woo! 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 Them boy feel that heat. What the fuck is the difference? Stupid fuck. He's sitting at a, the fucking top. Talking about motherfucker, he didn't, he losing man after man. So, I hope I'm not getting this shit correct. So, are they expecting a fucking massacre? And they want to get the they want to get the colonel out because they know how important he is. I hope that's not what the fuck going on, bro. Kind of like what the fuck? No, I'm not going. Man, dog. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. So what about people who's trying to the squad who's trying to pick them from flanking? They should they should hold up. They should hold him out, bro. Piled up, bro. Them boys are piled up. Oh man. Fuck me. Oh my god, bro. Get that motherfucker, bro. Them boys pushing forward, bruh. Like they ain't afraid of shit. But that's they don't give a I don't give a fuck about dying. Yeah. He can not say it with confidence. Plug his wound. We got an American platoon out there. Yeah. 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 Oh, bo 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 Oh, bo 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 Y'all ain't saving shit. I'm 
mean? Like, how, how they gonna win this shit, bro? That boy, that boy been working, boy. That boy, that boy, that boy stiff. Just fucked up. Mm-hmm. He held his shit together. He got it together, boy. Somebody had to fly out the wounded. No, no, don't you play hot shot with me. You ever do it again, I'm gonna have you busted. Got the balls to face me, but got the balls to face the enemy. Hey, hey, hey. Get out. What? If I ever see you again, I'll kill you. That boy should have shit that I done done. I didn't see him, bro. I'm saying transported wounded and dead back. Motherfucker, you better get the fuck out of my face. The fuck you talking about, bitch? What's going on, bro? What you, what's going on here? Get the fuck out of her! Whoo, shit! Get out of her! Sneaky pieces of shit! Good call, bro. Good call, dog. Them boys knee deep in the heart of that shit. By themselves, bruh. I bet that boy heart dropped like what? Don't ask me, don't ask what he said, bro. Oh man, boy. Eyes wide open, bruh. You going through a whole night of that shit right there. Get, get the fuck out of here, bro. These motherfuckers just pushing forward. So they don't give a fuck. They gonna be doing this shit all fucking night? Damn! Damn, bro. That's a fucking. They were letting the message. Somebody died. Fucking telegram? <laughs> she lost her fucking husband. She said to a fucking telegram? <laughs> Damn. Oh my god, boy. I'm a sheep, boy. I know shit. I'm a sheep. Paranoid. Oh shit! I bet she like, oh my god, boy. You good, girl? She praying. She praying. Moore, Colonel Moore's wife. What? I need help finding an address. Huh? Look at this. Jackass! Do you know what this is? Huh? Do you know what you just did to me? Huh? <sighs> I don't like this job, ma'am. I'm just trying to do it. Wait. Wait. Gotta hide. Man, it's fucked up. Mm mm mm. Take it to Oh, man. No, boys, I'm just doing my job. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> For real. Boy, boy, boy. How she gonna do this? Oh, man, man. Mm-mm. 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 She don't wanna believe it. <laughs> oh, I'ma hold it together. Oh, boy, boy, I might have to take a break. 
I'll take care of this. They coming in piles, boy. And this, these are your next door neighbors, bro. Your neighbors, people you just had a party with. Y'all was just sitting around drinking tea and, and laughing and shit. And now you delivering <laughs> letters saying that they husband and loved ones has died, bro. Like, oh boy. And this shit coming through Telegram. Kids without fathers, boy. Uh, 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 uh. Man! Boy, the movie just started. I'm crying all fucking ready, boy. <laughs> Man, dog! Man! This shit real. This ain't no... This ain't no fake shit here, bro. You got a death wish, Galloway. <laughs> sir, why are you here? I'm, I want to hear this shit. Because I knew these dead boys would be here, sir. When it came to this one, I... I didn't think I could stop a war. You know, I... I thought maybe I might try and understand one. I better shoot the camera than I could shoot the rifle. Very true. That is very true. I'm gonna leave that damn message. Vì vậy, chúng ta phải áp sát đến gần để cho pháo binh của chúng không sử dụng được. The boys, they want to get on top of them. Get on top of them. Them boys don't sleep. They don't sleep. And there's that small line that's holding their ass from getting in. It's only a few. Here we go. Here we fucking go. Hold the ass alert, bro. Come on. You better be fucking sleeping. Yes, bro. Yep. Yep. Bitch. Yep. Motherfucker. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, see the fucking shit. Them boys. Look. Them boys hurt. Still shooting. Still fucking shooting. Fucking fighters, dog. The wounded still fighting, baby. They pushing hard, too. No, 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 no. Come on, bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Them boys said we gonna fight till death. Oh boy. And that's all fucking night. That's all night, bro. You, bro, you can't even blink one eye, dog. Colonel, sir. I'm gonna held that line. They held that line. Nope. Light his ass up. Being that on, huh? Light his ass up. No, no, no. Who the fuck? Bruh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Turn around, Colonel. Turn around, Colonel. Turn around. Come on, turn. Turn around. Woo. Shit. Oh. Oh, my God, boy. What are you applying that pressure to? This motherfucker. Soldier, give it up, I got a baby born today. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Good boy. That shot the fucking camera. Camera out that boy hand. Can't take no pictures lying down there, sonny. He a bad boy. That boy, he a bad boy. Deal. Get your gun. Sir, I'm a non-combatant, sir. Ain't no such thing today, boy. Ha, <laughs> bro. You all hurt. Bruh. Hey, bro, shit. Better pick that motherfucker up. Because the camera ain't gonna save your life. That ain't good. That ain't fucking good. That ain't good, bro. Come on, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Improvision, baby. Improvise. So we need this. We need this. Piss and cool this motherfucker out real quick. Oh, that boy, same man. Risk this fucking life for his people. Shoot, shoot that stupid clown motherfucker. Broken arrow? 
That means that an American has been overrun, causing every combat aircraft for support. Bro, this motherfucker walk around, but like he had fucking a soccer game. Like he had a soccer game, bro. Them boys so woo, bitch. Get your ass out of there. Toast they ass. Toast they ass. Them boys. People who are operating the plane, they gotta be accurate as fuck. They're literally dropping bombs right in front of these motherfuckers, boy. Stupid accuracy. This motherfucker didn't burnt up half his, his fucking men. You are fucking kidding me. You are fucking kidding me. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. You gotta tell that fucking story. Colonel Brigade Headquarters 1 2 lifted out of the first chopper at dawn. I am in a fight, and I object to this order to return to Saigon. Now I will not leave my men. Is that clear? Ow. I say, fuck you. First one off the chopper, last one on. Because you lose him. Who going? Fuck that. That's stupid as fuck. So you're saying, fuck everybody else. Just had a baby. Julie? Brought another. Oh God, Julie, Julie, it's yours. No. So we finna get close. We finna, it's finna get real now. How is this gonna go? How is this going to go? Close. Them boys up close and personal now. No, sir. Stupid motherfucker. No, sir. You ain't making that call. You ain't making that call. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, my God. Woo! Yes! Oh my god. Yes! They ain't shot a shot. They like, what the fuck? Where he come from? Where he come from? Ah! See, he gonna hold that motherfucker. That motherfucker run out. Yeah, bitches. Fuck yeah, duck and fold. Say relax. That boy said relax. Yeah, I knew her. What the hell happened here, Joe? Like this is a fucking movie. These motherfuckers just got done coming from battle. Seriously? Get out of here, bro. That make you want to spit on every last one of them motherfuckers. This is a fucking massacre, bro. Tip, man, bro. Mm, mm, mm. If that ain't so disrespectful, they're not disrespectful. Like she on a field trip. 
That shit fucking crazy. <laughs> they ain't got nothing to say, bruh. They just don't give a fuck. How you feel about the loss of your men? Tell us what happened. They pull up not even an hour after all of this shit happened. Like it's a field trip. Boy, I'll piss on you, bitch. That stupid ass shit. I'm sorry. I just, I apologize. I, I'm sorry. Glad you made it, son. That wasn't a sound of relief, boy. I'm crying for it, it ain't me. <laughs> Dear Barbara, I have no words to express to you or sure of this, and yet this knowledge can't diminish his loss. Wow. Wow. Uh, hope my eyes ain't red, y'all, man. I apologize. No, actually, I don't. I don't. Uh, man. My heart is heavy as hell right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. Very heavy. Wow, man. I just... Uh, usually I don't have a lot to say, and I do, but I don't even know how to even express the movie I just watched. It was definitely... This, this was a beautiful movie. Beautiful, beautiful man. But finding the words to express how I feel, it's it's, it's hard. It's, it's it's really hard because there are there were so many lives lost. It's hard, and it makes me fucking angry that there are people out here who think this shit is a game. Like it's oh man, it, it, it's and the the, the scenes that. It pissed me off so fucking much. And I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call Lydia a bitch. Like, I'm sorry. I apologize. I was, I was so heated. But you guys come out not even an hour later after this shit happened. As if you're on a fucking field trip. As if you're walking to the fucking candy store. Asking these men, can you tell us what happened? How do you feel? You know, can you explain to me? You know what I'm saying? How it feels to win the war, dude, bruh? You there? You are literally walking past piles of bodies, dead bodies of dead soldiers. And you're asking you you want to ask me questions? Seriously? This is not the fucking time nor the place, and that's just fucking inconsiderate. That's some heartless ass shit. Very heartless, man. That's just I don't know, oh man. I I I just can't. Explain the disbelief of how selfish people are. Like, the reason you're able to do what the fuck you do and live the way you live, the reason you're protected is because we do the things that we did. We do the things that we do. These men, these men died for you to have this free will, this freedom that you have. You have absolutely no gratitude for it, man. Yeah. Anyway, um, the perseverance and dedication and fortitude and selflessness that these men displayed is unreal. Absolutely unreal. Like, and it just, uh, that was, do you remember the scene where the guy, they, the, they had threw a grenade into the center of where the men were, and the, one of the soldiers noticed it, and he hopped on top of the bomb, so it wouldn't kill nobody else. Like, that's what you call fucking selflessness. Ah, oh, man. Like, uh, the fact that the colonel said that I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the first one off this helicopter and the last one to fucking leave. Oh man, bruh. He could have easily left. They tried to get this man to come back a few times. And I hope I am incorrect. I hope to God that I'm wrong. Why would you want him to go? 
Because I'm pretty sure I heard, and I'm pretty sure y'all heard the same exact thing that I heard. He said, as long as, long as we have him, the war is not over. The long, as long as we have him, we, we, we haven't lost. So why would you bring the heart back and leave the body there? Are you saying fuck everybody else? That's what it sounds like you're saying. That's what I felt like he was saying. And the crew was like, hell no. You know what I mean? Who, whoever is relaying this message back to me, fuck off. I'm not, I'm not fucking leaving. If we gonna die, we gonna die together. Fuck that. Yes, man. Yes. And like, even the hard ass. The Sergeant Major? His ass even broke. Like, this was deep. This, this shit was heavy. This shit was heavy. Like, could you imagine the kind of passion that the news reporter will have to, will have behind that story that he's going to tell? That's going to be so much passion, man. So much passion. And, like, it's, it's, I am, I can't believe it. The fact that they held this line, they held that line for, for days on end. Days on end. In, not not fucking drinking, not taking a sip of water, not pissing, fucking not eating, not nothing. Cause you ain't got time. And it's dark, bruh. There were there were a few times that by the grace of God, that boy made that call. Hey man, we can't see nothing. Throw some flashes out there. Throw some flashbangs. We can't see nothing. And as soon as that motherfucker that it went off, they were right here in front of their face. Oh my god, man. Oh, my dog. Like, gosh, shit. <laughs> I, I just, I really can't find the words to express, man, how crazy this was. Like, obviously, that was one scene that just really, 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 really had me fucked up. When the fighter jet came down, was dropping bombs. It was just getting closer and closer. And dropped one right in the center of your own fucking man. Like you didn't bombed the base of where 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 we are centered at, man. I can't even fucking get my damn verbiage right, bro. Like, ah, you 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 bombed our fucking camp, you dumb fuck. Seriously, oh man. So yeah, I I, I truly 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 enjoyed this movie, man. This is probably this is definitely on my top ten. Heavy, heavy. My heart is heavy for this one here. Thank you guys for recommending this. I truly, truly appreciate it. Truly appreciate it, man. Like, this was, I don't, I don't know if you guys were intentionally trying to see how I was going to react. You guys wanted to touch my soul. Like, you guys really wanted me to pull my emotions out. But you got exactly what you wanted. That's for damn sure. For her still, I'm still sniffing like the fucking movie's still going, man. Another person that I am highly, highly impressed with that I admire so much was the Colonel's wife. She took upon a job willingly that only a very, very, very select few people would want to do. Very select. Willingly. And not only that, dog, but her own husband is fighting the same war that these same men who are dying, who has died, are fighting. So the fact that she was able to do that, not knowing if one of these letters were hers. Not knowing when she was going to get that call. Well, they weren't fucking calling shit. When she was going to get that telegram. You, that, and let's talk about that. You finding out that your cousin, your husband, your grandfather, whomever, has died through a fucking telegram? Like it's just, like it's a, like it's a postage. You know what I'm saying? To a fucking, or, 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 or an invitation to a, 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 a neighborhood meeting. This is, oh man, dog. And she took up all that responsibility. Herself. Herself. And these, are, these were her next door neighbors. These were the people, they were just having a little meet and greet. We were talking, we were having, we were having tea. We were just dancing with these. We, we were just at the ball dancing with these same individuals. And I gotta go. I gotta go here and tell them that their husband has died. Oh man, my heart hurt. My heart hurts, bro. Seriously. 
But yes, I actually love this movie, man. I absolutely love this movie. Um, now let's talk about the enemy for I'm gonna talk about them for just for a quick second. That it's really hard to not hate them because war is war. In in war, there's death. Everybody, everyone has their reasons on why they fight. You know, and and being in the lieutenant, the colonel, the commander's position, obviously he he's holding a heavy load as well because he lost his men. So, I don't know. It's, 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 I don't know. The fact that the colonel sent the book and the letter to the guy who tried to kill him, his wife, that takes a lot. I, I, I don't know what that takes. And if you guys could tell me, because I can fucking do it. I can do it, man. But I guess he recognizes this is war and this guy had a wife, just like I have a wife. He has a family. And she loved him just as my wife loved me. So I'm going to send out my condolences. But, bruh, damn, that's deep. That is deep. That just shows how pure, how pure, how humble this dude is, man. Yes. So I'm going to end. This was one thing, and then I'm going to do my closing. There was one person who made a comment on one of my reactions. And I'm not going to say the name. It don't even fucking matter. It don't even matter. But what he said was is that the veterans today are pussies compared to the veterans in the old days. And we don't know shit. Bruh, first and foremost, you stupid as fuck. Because a veteran is a veteran. We all serve the same country. We all join for the same purpose. And anyone that serves, whether you're in the Marines, the fucking Army, the National Guard, the fucking Air Force, the Air National Guard, mother, we serving, bruh. We're serving. Everybody deserves the same fucking respect. So for somebody to say some dumbass shit like that, you's a fucking idiot. Especially if you're a fucking American. You a fucking clown. So, yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna get that shit too much energy. But shit like that, man, it's things like that that pisses me off, especially when I watch movies like this. It is just yeah. Anyway, I'm done with that. That situation is dead. But anyway, I truly, truly, truly thank you guys. As always, man, you guys are very supportive, man. And I I am very grateful, man, and blessed to have you guys who support my channel, who subscribe, man, who comment. Damn, man, that just means the world to me, man. That means the world. And I promise again to always give, bring you guys the best content, man. And I'm going to always be me. I'm going to yell at the fucking, I'm going to yell at the fucking TV. I'm going to, I don't like cursing, but hey, dog, I mean, I'm human. I'm going to curse if I got to cry. I mean, like, I'm a very emotional dude. And... That does not make me less of a fucking man. I promise you that. <laughs> I promise you that. I'm a fucking savage. And because I'm like that, I know how to express my emotions. And I'm not ashamed of it. Not ashamed of it. So anyway, thank you guys again. Give your boy a thumbs up. Like, share, and comment. Check out my Patreon, man. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.